Hey you guys, welcome and welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. We're gonna get into another collective reading or a reading for the collective to see what you need to know, okay? Y'all be sure as always to like and subscribe to continue to catch the vibe. It's almost November, y'all. This year is going by like a freight train fast. Or a bullet train, I guess I should say. That's a little faster. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well. Don't bring anything into your life that does not belong. Get in the comments. Let me know if the reading is resonating, you guys. Put your favorite emojis in the comments to let me know if the reading is resonating. And if you want to book your personal to get your personal questions answered, that link is below. You get about 30 to 45 minutes for your question and whatever else that spirit wants to come out. So y'all feel free to book below. Let's see. We're going to start with the advice that you need. And then we'll get into what whatever the situation is. Wow. Quickly. Opportunity. So your spirit team wants you to know that there's an opportunity. Let's get one more card. Guardian angels. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors of the highest vibration. Father, Mother, God, for the collective. In the near future. Ooh. So there's an opportunity coming in the near future. For you guys that your spirit team wants you to be aware of. And they may want you to take it. Okay. It's peeking in. Peeking in. Okay. At the bottom we have no. Ooh. Interesting. They may not want you to take it. And a year from now. Let's see what this is about. All right. It may be a no. Or there because this is kind of what's happening right now at the bottom of the deck it's kind of a portrayal of what's happened in the recent past or what's happening right now to me the opportunity card and in the near future is what came out which is the near future pretty much and a year from now is like the far future all right so you may have to make a few sacrifices. You may have to make a few compromises right now, but your spirit team is telling you don't stop. There are helpful people in your life and you will be able to understand through meditation what a peaceful resolution is. Okay. So there's going to be a peaceful resolution that your spirit team is trying to uh, let you know about and get through to you. They're going to send helpful people in so you can see what's going on. And because they don't want you to stop right now, though, it there is a balancing act going on. There's a compromise because there's a door that's being closed in your face that is not meant to open possibly for you. And whatever you're asking for or praying about is going to come to you in a different way than what you may expect. OK, and it seems like in the near future that opportunity is coming. And I just turned the book to the page of success. So the messages are all around you guys, like literally. All right. So no is saying the response to your inquiry is a firm. No, you needn't worry though, as you will see why this was the perfect answer as time goes by. Right. That's what I was saying. Now the opportunity card is the one that came out first. So when it comes to an opportunity, let's see. Now, opportunity says positive growth and expansion is on the horizon for you. This opportunity may bring with it inspiration and insight, or it could be a chance you've been waiting for to take action on ideas you already have. You may be seeking, you may be seeking to manifest the chance to create changes in your career. Turns the page. Okay, buy or sell a home or bring romance into your life. Whatever your desires, your angels are about to open a door of possibilities for you. Step right through. Okay, so yeah, this is an opportunity that is meant for you. It's just that prior to now or at this moment, the opportunity that you thought was for you may not have been in complete alignment for what it is that you truly desire or what is truly best for you. So your spirit team had to close so certain doors or prevent certain doors from opening at all because they wanted the best possible outcome for you to match with your desires, okay? In the near future says, what you are asking about will occur very soon. So you won't have to wait much longer. Stay optimistic and continue upon your current path. Be open to receiving, okay? 
Yeah. And then a year from now talks about the event that you're asking about will occur within this year or soon after. During this time interval, you're encouraged to stay optimistic and to continue with self-care activities and other preparations for your desire. Remember that other people's free will choices are involved. Your angels are presently working behind the scenes on your behalf, even if you can't immediately see the evidence of your answered prayers. Right. So you're going to start to see the evidence a year from now or next year sometime. But right now, certain doors are being closed because they're not the right doors. You know that uh, zero, is it called zero accounting or something like that? Where that lady is walking down this hallway, opening a bunch of doors. And at the end, she's like, wow. And at the end, she's like, open the right doors today. I think it's like zero accounting or something like that. Okay. So let's clarify this. Let's get some additional information for the collective spirit. Yeah, something, I, I don't know, maybe you needed a new accountant or you needed new uh, employees or you you needed to be in a different environment. You may, you may have need to clean up some things, get some things more in order, get some things together. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Your spirit team is trying to open the right doors for you and not just any old doors. Okay. So what is the situation right now? in the current moment for the collective when it comes to these messages spirit yeah you could be you're pretty you're pretty exhausted you guys are pretty exhausted you're feeling beat up you about to ready to say fuck that shit okay um and it's it's not really feeling very good but the thing about it whoever was coming for you with this nine of wands energy you've already beat them the the, the wands are smoldering they're smoking Okay, you could have had a lot of people around you wearing masks because I just heard smoking in my head from the mask. You may want to look at Jim Carrey's story. Jim Carrey was definitely in the industry for a long time and he was having doors shut in his face over and over, back to back. And he felt like giving up majority of the time. And I believe... I believe if I'm not mistaken, I don't think, I don't know if it was him or Keanu Reeves, but you may want to, cause both of them kind of had similar, um, vibes to their stories. So look at Keanu Reeves story and, uh, Jim Carrey, but Jim Carrey, it, it was Jim Carrey because he's, he's a comedian and he's originally from Canada. And I couldn't remember if it was him or Keanu who was homeless with their family. I think it was Jim Carrey though, but literally uh, Jim Carrey came from Canada. He was a comedian. He was an impressionist and no one really understood his comedy or understood his talents or his gifts or his abilities until the weigh-ins created in living color, which solidified the fact that his opportunity was there. It just had to be created and he had to walk through the right doors and meet the right people in order for that opportunity to present itself to him and for him to be ready at the right place at the right time for that opportunity. So there's something that you're doing that you really want to give up on and your spirit team is telling you not to give up because whatever you are meant to do is still in the works of being created or you have to uh, basically follow the guidance that you're being given in order to be in the right place at the right time. Yeah, 10 of cups and the page of cups. Yeah, you're really inspired to do something. You love what it is that you do, but it's like you just keep hitting this opposition. What's the nine of wands? Four of cups. Yeah. Very disappointed about the outcome of situations. You feel used. You feel abused. You feel like you're not being paid attention to or uh, receiving what you're worth in a situation, but you're very creative. You're very inspired. I also feel like you could be creatively inspiring other people. Okay. Um, people may not take you seriously yet, or they may feel like they can't take you serious for some reason. Um, but you have good ideas. 
people are just focused on the wrong thing. And it's kind of like, okay, just like with Jim Carrey, people were focused on one thing or another. Sorry, y'all, my boobie was itching. People were focused on one thing or another, but they didn't understand his talent. But he did some really monumental, he played some really monumental roles. And I think his biggest role was the Truman Show. And that is resonating now. You get what I'm saying? So it's like what what you're doing has the potential to grow into something really monumental, but the right variables have to be in place. What's the nine of wands? Three of swords. Yeah, it's just a lot of disappointment, a lot of boredom, a lot of just like not feeling fulfilled, feeling like something is missing. I also feel like there's going to come a time where people are going to be unfulfilled with what's going on around them and what they've become accustomed to. And that's when your gifts or your skills or your abilities are going to be highlighted because it's going to be a fresh or refreshing change to the things that people are kind of tired of. So don't give up. Nine of cups, three of pinnacles. Yeah. It's like the job that you want or the work that you want, you're not getting it. And it's like you keep trying and trying and trying. And I feel like it's because you're not meant to be in certain places and spaces. And I feel like some of you guys are thinking this like, yeah, I know that I'm not meant to be in those places or spaces. And I understand the whole situation about, you know, man's rejection, God's protection or one door closing and a window opening. It's like you understand all of these things. But you're like, okay, well, then how the fuck am I going to pay my bills? You get what I'm saying? Or how am I going to support my family? Like, if that's the case, then what am I supposed to do? And like the card said, be optimistic. Keep a positive attitude, which I feel like you're kind of struggling with. And continue to take care of yourself. Do things where you can improve your health or you can improve skills that you have or you can learn new skills. Do those types of things because I feel like it would help you not only to stay positive and gain positive momentum, but to keep your mind off of like negative things that are going on. Yeah. Okay. So what's this opportunity for the collective? What is this opportunity? Eight of swords, three of wands. It's something only you can do. Ten of cups, queen of pentacles. Yeah, it's something that only you can do. It's like you have the skills for this or you're not afraid. To do whatever this is. What's the three of wands? Eight of swords. Two of cups. It could be about communication, writing, speaking. It's like saying things or writing things or expressing things that other people are afraid to say, write, express, or do. Yeah. Two of wands, two of cups, eight of pentacles. It's something about speaking your mind or communication. What's the two of cups? Magician. Mm. Some of y'all, this feels like a talk show or it, it, it feels like something you're either saying or writing. It's a contract that you've been waiting on possibly as well. But like the the details of the contract had to be worked out. Nine of cups. 
Yeah, somebody's going to offer you something that you've been wishing for, asking for, praying for, wanting. But it's like it's being created or they're talking about it right now. Um, Gemini season in 2025 could be significant. Possibly Aries as well with the three of wands. Um, magician is also Gemini or Aries possibly. Cancer is here. And maybe even Aquarius. Scorpio. Okay. What's in the near future? Ooh. Two of Pentacles reversed. We saw the two of wands. Two of cups is out here. And a stack of cards. Page of Pentacles. Five of cups. Four of swords. Yeah, you don't you don't really see this opportunity coming. You're right on the money. You're 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 in the right vicinity of this opportunity. It's kind of like magnetism. And it feels to me like your magnet, which is you, your soul, your light, your aura is attracting certain things to you because they're the whatever those things are, they're in your general magnetic vicinity. And it's like you ha you're you in the right area, but it's like you either have to move a little bit to the left, to the right, forward, you know, but I don't think backwards, but it's like you kind of have to, the like on Charmed, when they use the crystal to locate people, it's like they have to be in the right area for the crystal to bop down on the map. You get what I'm saying? That's what it feels like. Four of Swords, Five of Cups, Page of Pentacles. You're, it's like, you're going to be healing from some type of loss that you've experienced and everything could feel like it's falling apart. And that's proof that this is coming with the two of pinnacles, <laughs> kind of like dropping the ball type of energy <laughs> where you have to let one thing go or stop doing one thing to, to do something else feel like you're seeing the truth of that right now and in the near future there's going to be a, a point where you feel refreshed or rested or healed from something really bad and it's proof that you you moved in the right direction ten of pentacles and the king of swords this could be something that Dang, okay, hold on. It's like what you're doing every day, though, because the only major arcana that's out here is the magician. So it's like you're in the process of kind of, I don't want to say secretly, but it kind of feels secret. It kind of feels incognito. You're in the process of like manifesting this big opportunity. But most of what you're doing, most of the work that you're doing on yourself or the self-care that you are participating in is happening behind the scenes. What does the collective need to do right now to make this opportunity tower Scorpio season possibly? feel like you need to let the tower fall or take a leap of faith that you may be afraid to take hangman two of swords yeah you're right on point i'm telling you it's like don't be afraid to be embarrassed don't be afraid to get called out because <clears throat> that's going to open up an opportunity for you look at the tower from a different perspective as well when it comes to you kind of moving forward don't see the tower falling as something negative see it as something positive to show you that you're really close to achieving your goal okay what's the tower three of pinnacles mm -hmm. 
Also produce quality work because I feel someone is observing you and the people around you. Ooh, that was weird. That don't just happen. Ooh. You may not want to work with other people. You may want to work independently on your own. You may not want to collaborate because people are going to try to ride your coattails and they're not putting in as much effort. You see the pinnacle on here uh, in the yellow is much more precise and uh, better quality than the other pinnacles in the red and the blue. Yeah. Or teal. Don't I, I, I feel like it's not the time to partner up. It's not the time to work on a team. It's you have to do something on your own. And say something on your own or be the only one who participates because if you work with other people, it could destroy an opportunity that you have here. I also feel that there's going to be some type of sudden recognition that you get from very precise work that you've done. Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody may also tell you about a work opportunity. All of a sudden, you may need to jump on it quickly. Okay. What's the Four of Cups? Hermit, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been working on something privately. It definitely feels like you've been working on something privately or in secret. And you've been putting a lot of energy and effort into this and you're not getting a return on your investment and you're tired of trying over and over again. You, It's like you see clearly King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Interesting. You may even be working with a business partner or working with another entity, I want to say. <clears throat> there could have even been someone who gave you a bad review or did something or said something to make people look at you negatively, try to call you out or something like that. Somebody gave you a bad reference. What's this three of swords? Strength. What else is the three of swords with the strength? Two of wands, but you're making good decisions. I feel like you're also keeping your attitude in check, keeping your shit under control. Trying not to allow people to get to you. And you're moving forward even though it's disappointing and it's hurtful because it kind of feels like nobody is seeing the work that you put in. Nine of Swords. It's like you're worried about whether or not you're making the right decision or if this is the right decision. I feel like moving forward to whatever the new thing is, is the right decision. Yeah, your intuition is telling you so. I also feel like you have a guide or a compass that you can utilize within yourself based on your intuition and your discernment. That helps you see see more clearly or navigate things that are kind of like difficult to navigate. Okay. Yeah. So what's the advice? Six of Wands. Go where you're celebrated, period. Uh, pay attention to what works and what does not work and go where you're celebrated. There's going to be success in your future. I feel like also speak positively. Be uh, like the card said, definitely be optimistic because I feel like what trips you up sometimes or what could kind of hold you back is not knowing for sure that what you say or what you do or what you create or what you put out is going to actually work out, but just put it out anyway. Kind of what people say. You're going to have some type of feedback that you receive that lets you know that something worked out or is successful. What's the six of wands for the advice? Five of wands. Oh, yeah. You're going to overcome some type of conflict competition for sure. I'm telling you, somebody here is not creating quality work like you are. 
but they're competing with you. And there's, I'm telling you, I always say that y'all know, I always say that shit. You can't compete where you don't compare. And it's like someone, someone's work ethic or the quality of their work does not compare with the quality of your work, eight of pentacles. So that's why they could be trying to like suppress you or hide you or do things that keep you stuck. Yeah. Two of swords and the high priestess. Yeah. You're definitely on point. Even if you don't see that you're on point, you are on point and your intuition is telling you that you're on point. Even if you don't have all the evidence or the details though. But the fact that people are, your advice is to understand that this new beginning is coming for you. This new opportunity is coming for you. And your advice is that the opportunity in the near future is going to be something that you want to take and that it's going to change your life and whatever doors are being closed are being closed to protect you. So I hope that helped you guys. Y'all be sure to like and subscribe to continue to catch the vibe. Book your readings below. Get in the comments. Share this reading with someone who you think may need to hear it. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.